to talk about the website builders perfect for your small business, I want you to take a second and think about how your customers will find your website. Do you already have a group of people who support your product or brand? Or are you relatively new and you need people to come and find you? Why is this important? Because, well, building the website is actually the easy part. The harder part that you need to maintain over and over again is for your customers to find your website, click on it, and browse. If you want me to go into that, let me know down in the comments. But let's say that's not an issue for you. You have a group of existing people who love your products. Now, how will you let new customers discover your product or brand? Because you need to get returning customers. You can't just have one customer buy your product and never again, right? So, if your answer to both of the questions is I don't have an audience These are the websites I would recommend you to use Etsy, if you're trying to sell any kind of product Whatever product it is in the world Customizable products Gumroll, if you're trying to sell digital products Teachable, if you're trying to sell a course And Skillshare, if you're also trying to sell a course Why? Because these sites have an established group of people or users Who will go into the site and search for something. So you don't really have to worry about how people will discover your website. In fact, you don't even need to create a website. You can rely on the existing group of users who might use Etsy to find your product there. And all you have to worry about is making your listing searchable and make it presentable. People discovering your website is so much harder to maintain than people going on Etsy and finding your product there. If you have the most brilliant website ever and no one sees it, then the utility for your website goes down by so much. Now, you have your own product and you have a group of people who will come back to your website over and over again. Congratulations, I'm actually so happy for you because it's so hard to do that. But here's my recommendation. If you wanna sell any kind of products, or digital products, Shopify is your answer. Jewelry, or handmade wallets, anything you can imagine. Photos, digital products, presets. That I would recommend Shopify over anything. Why? Because Shopify makes it insanely easy to build a website. Besides from all of this, payments, websites, analytics, Shopify also has a plugin marketplace. Inside this marketplace, you can basically search for anything that you need. For example, you want a review section to your website. Just search for reviews and Shopify will let you install those plugins within one click. This is the most simple you're ever gonna get if you do not know how to code or if you don't wanna hire someone else to help you with your website. I honestly haven't found the same ease of use with any other website builders and flexibility. And this is my own genuine review after making two stores on Shopify. Next, if you want to sell courses, I would highly recommend Kajabi. Their platform is optimized for memberships and communities. So I would actually not recommend using Shopify to create courses or communities. This is the one thing I would not recommend Sh Shopify for. Kajabi is so well designed for anyone who wants to create a video course and any kind of membership based courses or coaching. They make it so easy to put together every single aspect to your business. For example, email marketing, they provide you with another landing page besides from the website infrastructure for your video courses. The best part is that they make your entire course look so professional and it doesn't look scrappy, if that is what you care about. Finally, if you want to create a really unique website, I would highly recommend Webflow. Now, bear in mind, there is a learning curve with Webflow. It takes a lot more than just the drag and drop designs with, like, with Shopify. With Webflow, you really have to create all of your own widgets if you need to and want to. They don't have the one-click plugin. If you want to use Webflow with other tools, you're gonna have to figure out how to do that yourself. Although you can always hire a Webflow developer, I will have to say that the payoff with Webflow is amazing if you know how to use it. Webflow can really allow you to create these amazing, unique looking and unique experience websites. Something I, I don't like with Shopify is that they all look the same. It's like Squarespace, right? They all look the same. Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, they all use Shopify and I can, I can just see it. 
I sense it. I just know Webflow is your go-to if you want to create something more unique and you don't want to be the same as everyone else. And with that, I hope you find the best website builder for your business. Hey, my name is Sophie and I'm a designer in Silicon Valley startup. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video where I show you every single website builder out there compared pros and cons. And I'll see you next week. Bye.